How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Here I want to show you how to use the new Fire 7 tablet, which is basically the new Amazon Kindle Fire in the 2015 edition. I'm just going to do a basic walkthrough for you first time users on how to use this tablet. So uh, first and foremost, uh, basic navigation. This is the home screen right here. And we do have right at the top here, kind of hard to see it, but there is this, which is our standby power button. So when I press it once, it does put the tablet to sleep. If I press it again, then it does wake up the tablet. And then if I want to unlock it right here, there's a little lock. I take my finger and I just put it on the lock and just swipe up. And there we are. The tablet is unlocked. All right. So now let's just kind of hit the basics. So again, Stand by right there. If I hold down on this, it actually does give you the option to power off the Kindle. So this is how you turn it off. There is no specific on off button like a switch. You just hold down on that standby button and that will ask you if you do want to shut the Kindle off or on again. We're going to hit candle cancel for now. And so this is going to be our home screen. This is like the main screen that always takes you to. Um, and Right at the bottom here, you have three main buttons, which you're going to be using a lot. The middle button is the home button. So when we tap that, no matter what screen you're on or what app you're in, when you tap that, it takes you back to your home screen. Now, to give an example, let's say you go to Silk, which is how you use the Internet. You use what's called the Silk browser. I would just tap on this. And it'll, you know, I'm on the Internet. Let's say I'm looking for Google. So let's google.com and there's Google so let's say you're on the internet and you want to go back to the home screen to do that you're going to tap right here this little circle is the home button so we're just going to tap here and it will take us right back to our home screen all right so pretty simple right uh, so no matter what app you're in no matter what you're doing uh, you just tap this button and it takes you back home now there are certain cases where you will not see these here. And let me show you one really quick just so you have an idea. Let's say you're watching a video. And I'm gonna open Jerry Maguire. So we're gonna hit watch now. And what happens is the buttons will actually go away. They won't be on the screen. First of all, you notice that the, the screen is now a uh, landscape, which means that the whole picture is the long ways. And so what you're going to do, if you want to bring up those buttons, you can tap the screen and they'll come up. Or I can swipe up from the top and now they show up and now I can hit that circle button and go back home. So in, in no, no matter what app you're in, it's just a matter of just swiping up from the top. And when you swipe up, you will see these three uh, navigation buttons. So just keep that in mind, okay? When in doubt, just swipe up from the bottom. All right, so this left button here is our back button. So just to give you a good example of this, let's say I'm in the Silk browser. Again, I'm on the internet and I'm looking up web pages. Let's say I'm here and I tap on maps. It's kind of like the back button you use when you're on the internet. So let's say I didn't mean to press that and I want to go back to the last thing I did. I can hit this back button and it actually will take me back one step. Now guess what, if I press it again, it's gonna take me out of the app. Oh, actually not, okay, mode it. It actually will act as a back button for the internet in this particular case. And right now it's going back. So in this app, it's a back button and it basically serves as that in whatever app you're using. If you tap on something, it'll allow you to go back one step. To show you another example, if we go to the App Store, this is where you download different apps and games and things like that. Let's say I tap on See More. And maybe I'm like, oh, I, I don't really want to see that. I want to go back. Same thing. Back button takes you back. Oh, and in that case, it acted a little bit different. So it, the, it varies by case, but the main point is that it is the back button, so it's supposed to take you back one step or take you out of an app. Now this button on the right here is going to be your recent apps button. And what this is, is any uh, app or program that you've opened, 
this will show it to you. So if we tap it here, so we were just in the app store, the silk browser, the video uh, app. And so all those things are still open. Just because you hit the home button doesn't mean it closes those apps. It just takes you back to your home screen. So it's important for you to go back and actually swipe these. And those are the ones that you're not using anymore because this will actually help you save battery. So you just swipe. And this is how you actually close an app by swiping it just like that. Unfortunately, there's no all button yet, but hopefully soon they will have one. And there we go. So that's how you close an app. So close an app or recent apps, home button and back button. Those are the three most important buttons because they're for navigating. Now, the next thing we have is if you come to the top of the screen where the camera is and we just swipe down, you have what's called your notification panel. And in here, you're going to get updates about your tablet. So this tells you like there was a recent update. Um, it'll tell you if you have emails. It'll tell you if you have Facebook notifications, Instagram notifications, anything an app is trying to communicate to you, it will show up in this section. So those will be at the bottom. At the top here, we'll have Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, do not disturb, camera, auto rotate settings. And so if you go to a friend's house and you want to connect to their internet, you would simply swipe down and you would first make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. And that's with this button right here. Now, if it's highlighted in white, it means it's turned on. But see, like these are in gray, that means these are all turned off. So that's the difference you have to pay attention to. Now, if I'm at my friend's house and I say, hey, I want to connect to your internet, what you can do is hold down on that symbol. Let's see. Okay, take that back. So the system is slightly different for this tablet. So we actually would, instead of holding down there, we would go to settings. And then we go to wireless. And then we go to Wi-Fi. And this is the section where you'll look for your friend's Wi-Fi network. So you always want to ask them, hey, what's the name of your network? And hey, what's your password? And if we tap on one of these networks, it's going to ask us for the password. Once you type it in correctly, hey, connect, it will connect to that network. So that's how you use your, your tablet anywhere you are, whether you're at Starbucks, Denny's, or a friend's house, or at your own house. So I'm all done. I'm going to hit the circle button. That's going to take us back home. And... Just swipe down again really quickly. You do have a shortcut to get to the settings of the tablet, which is awesome, and a shortcut for your camera. So if you ever want to take a picture, if something pops up really quick, all you have to do is just swipe down, and your camera is right here, and you can use your front camera or your rear camera. So pretty convenient there. This is a great example, too, of we don't see those three little buttons down here. So if I swipe up, now they show up, and then I can hit the circle, and it'll take me back home. So that's your notification panel, and that's really simple, just um, different switches. Do not disturb is another really important one because with that one, you can set your tablet. So after certain hours of the night, your tablet won't make any noise so that it won't wake you up. So you won't hear about new emails or your apps won't tell you, oh, hey, your friend liked the picture on Facebook or whatever. You can set this to, to not disturb you until you're ready to be disturbed. So. One more thing, if we tap on this little icon here, this is how you switch between other users on the tablet. So the cool thing about this is you can have more than one user. So I can have myself, I can have my wife, I can have a kid. You can uh, have multiple users and they can have different things in their profile and their section. So that's the cool thing is you can actually share this tablet with other family members. I'm gonna swipe back up. So the next thing in this, this part is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go over everything because I love you guys so much. So right here, you'll notice we have home and it's kind of hard to see it, but right next to home, there is books. It's it, like kind of like in a, a light gray books, video games, and to switch between the different sections, you just swipe and now books is highlighted. So here's our books, swipe again, video, games, shop, apps, music, audiobooks, newsstand. Now, these are all up here as subheadings. I can just tap up here as well to switch, but swiping is also an easy way to do it too. You also notice that there's one more screen to the left of the home screen, and this is going to be your recent screen. So what this will compile is 
all the recent things that you've done, whether it's I've opened this app or I've taken this picture or I, I was watching this movie. So this is a great shortcut to get back to whatever it is you were doing before. Okay. So recent and I can just tap up here and I can switch between that. You also have a great option at the top here, which is a search. Now this search is particular to whatever section you're in. So right now I'm in video, so it's going to search videos. If I go up here and, and swipe all the way to apps, now it's going to search apps. So this search varies based upon what section you're on. So if I want to search through my music. Now I go to the music section, search the audio books, make sure I'm in that section. Now guess what? If I hit home, it's always going to take me back to the home screen. So that's an easy way to jump right back to that main screen. Now, again, I, I briefly said at the beginning, but I want to point it out one more time. To go on the internet, you need to find the Silk browser, which is right here. And this will be on your home screen. So Silk takes you to the internet. And you also have a shortcut for your app store. But you can also get to your apps just by going up here and going all the way to the app section. And once you get it in your hands, you'll see what I'm talking about, just in case it's hard to see the smaller text right here. And then I have library. And with library, I can see all of my apps, the apps that I own or have purchased in the past. Go back home. Or I can go to store, and it'll take me right to the app store where I can look for new apps to download. And that's about it, guys. I mean, that those are the super basics right there. So we just have our navigation buttons down here, home, back, recent apps. We have our swipe down for notification panel, shortcut to camera, Wi-Fi, settings, do not disturb. And then we just swipe through this home screen here to separate what we want to see. So do we want to look at games? Do we want to look at apps? Do we want to look at books? We just swipe and that's how we jump between these different sections. And then we have our general search right at the top based on what section you want to search in. So this has been uh, the Fire 7 2015 edition tablet, uh, Amazon Kindle Fire uh, for beginners. Just want to do a basic how to use it type video for those of you that are new to this device. It's a great price at $50. And um, now that you know how to navigate it, feel free to have fun and enjoy and do all the great stuff you can do with it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HQ Tech videos and have a good one.